Look at me, everybody. I'm a YouTuber. Time to start my video out with an obligatory skit involving the misuse of a lavalier microphone. Ooh, uh-oh. Ooh, I am very goofy. All right, how's that? Does that sound good? All right, well, that most likely got me demonetized, but whatever, it was probably gonna happen anyways, due to the nature of this video. Now, YouTube has always had a shaky history when it came to inappropriate content being uploaded to their site. And they constantly seem to be in a battle with themselves and content creators over which types of videos are allowed. We recently saw Leafy is Here get his channel permanently suspended due to supposedly breaking their harassment policy. Rip. But also in the past, we've seen controversy after controversy arise regarding disturbing content being uploaded, accumulating millions of views, seemingly undetected, before finally reaching the public eye. Disgusting, inappropriate content, such as Daddy05 abusing his kids. <laughs> Corrupted children's cartoons with horrific visuals of Mickey and Minnie Mouse spliced in. Oh, and let us not forget the baby monkey torture videos. You know the ones I'm talking about. Baby monkey torture. Bad baby monkey tantrum cry is torture. Screaming baby not allowed to self-soothe. HD. Bad baby monkey starve torture. Listening to that awful screeching goblin is torture. Staple its lips shut. If you shove it in a pot of boiling water, it will stop making that awful screeching. And of course, the kill and abuse monkey baby playlists. It's a sick, sad world that we live in. And while I'm not a morally grandstanding vegan, animals kind of have it rough. But where do you draw the line between what some people would consider necessary killings, such as, say, a festive goat slaughter, live frog sashimi, hunting videos, pest control videos, some buzzing around and then sadistic animal torture. Surely someone with giant hornet's nests overtaking their home is justified in calling an exterminator. Surely a Filipino farmer with a plague of invasive rats eating all of his crops should be able to take some steps in eliminating those pests which are destroying his livelihood. Surely it's justified in making elaborate mousetrap videos which electrocute, torture, and drown rats all for the sake of making top 10 funniest electric mousetrap videos and accumulating millions of views on YouTube, right? Right? Needless to say, this video may contain some unsettling and upsetting content and visuals, much of which I will have to blur out. So recently I saw a clip of a video that someone posted on Twitter of a homeless guy who had trained rats to do cool gymnastics on his hands. Wanting to look up the full video, I took to YouTube searching homeless guy trains rats. Just some nice wholesome entertainment involving rats. But as it's known to happen, I was quickly pulled down YouTube's rabbit hole and found myself at the front gates of rat trap hell. Trapped 17 mice, best glue trap. Again, if you're a little squeamish, then beware of the following footage. Basically, this person is showing off a DIY sticky rat trap, which if you're not familiar with sticky traps, it's essentially just a very sticky surface that captures mice and rats whenever they walk across it. Some would consider this a humane trap because you can later just remove the trap entirely from your house, spray it down with water, and then that allows the mice and rats to run off. But as I'm watching this video, I'm thinking, God damn, that's a lot of fucking mice. A lot in a short period of time. Like there's only two video cuts in a 13 minute time frame, and they were able to catch 17 mice. Now it's possible that this is just a very infested area and mice particularly love to run through this exact spot, seemingly undeterred by the abundance of other screeching mice stuck in its path. I don't know, something just seemed very odd about this setup. But then again, I've never really had to deal with a huge mice infestation, so what do I know? Now, this video is by a channel called Mousetrap, so I clicked on it to see what other videos they had, and holy shit, it's non-stop glue trap videos. 15 mice, 10 mice, 15 mice, 10 rats, 50 mice. Just in the past week alone, they caught at least 100 wild mice and rats in their glue traps and filmed it all. So I looked at their channel description, mouse trap, rat trap, glue trap, and an accumulated view count of nearly 3 million. Wow, 
And well, of course, that led me straight to another video called Biggest Glue Traps Catch a Lot of Rat in Three Minutes Easy by the channel How Mousetrap. All right, this is where things started to really take a strange turn. Unlike the last video, this trap has obstacles. A staircase leading up to a fall directly onto a glue trap that these wild rats are willingly jumping onto. Uh, why? Aren't rats supposed to be smart? Are these trained rats? Why wouldn't they just run around the bricks and go straight to the sweet glue trap? Around three minutes in, you start seeing wet rats entering into the frame. Why are all of a sudden wet rats showing up? It's almost like these rats got stuck on the sticky tape, ran off with residue stuck to them, and then the person filming washed the rats off and forced them right back into the obstacle course. I don't know, just seems a little weird. Like right here, just a ton of rats appear out of nowhere. Honestly, to me, it seems like this is not a naturally occurring event where wild rats just happen to be running right into the camera's frame. My suspicion is that this is actually an enclosed set and that there's nothing organic about this at all. But of course, this is just the beginning. Things get much, much more disturbing and suspicious because now we're about to move into the twisted saw-like world of electric traps, drowning traps, crab versus rat traps. Honestly, it's kind of a miracle that I was able to actually get a sponsor for this video. Welcome to the happiest place in the world, the internet, where around every corner, thieves and faceless corporations battle to steal your precious data. Well, look at this sucker. He's so vulnerable to password theft and phishing schemes. Ah, yes, and his purchase history is quite delectable. I think I'll sell it to advertisers. I'll sell his data to China. I'll sell it to <laughs> Russia. <laughs> Not so fast. What's this? He seems to be protected. But how? I use Surfshark VPN. No! No! Surfshark is an app and browser extension which can encrypt your personal information, sending it through a secure VPN tunnel, ensuring that no unwanted eyes can see it. Ah, it is I, the ghost of public Wi-Fi, here to steal your credit card information. Not today. Surfshark's VPN protects me from scum like you. <laughs> But surely the app's not available on all major operating systems. Surely they don't provide 24-7 customer support and a 30-day money-back guarantee. Silence! Not only does Surfshark VPN do all of those things, but by visiting Surfshark and entering the promo code RUSTYCAGE, you'll get 85% off plus three extra months free. So what are you waiting for? Secure your internet experience and protect yourself with Surfshark. The electric rat trap genre is a very lucrative market when it comes to gaining wealth and views. All you need is a camera, a well-lit set, a 12 to 20 volt battery, some cages, water barrels, and an abundance of rats to be test subjects, and you'll get millions of views in no time. 2.9 million views, 1.1 million views, 1.5 million views. Just take this channel, Pop Rats, with their video, Electric Rat Trap with Double Taser. 900,000 views. This of course is just a fun instructional do it at home project video showing creative new ways to catch wild rats in your kitchen. You may notice that there's no food in the trap itself or peanut butter on the rim of the barrel. Just a few grains of rice will suffice to entice these wild rats into their electrified tomb. Ding ding! That's the sound of a pail tipping over, letting all of these wild rats know that it's now time for them to scurry into this definitely not enclosed and very natural looking movie set. Just watch as this practical and innovative solution to a common problem is put to use. Horrific. But of course, this is just a reality of life in some parts of the world. Sometimes the only way to get rid of a rat infestation is to electrify them for the pleasure of the internet. And boy, don't they fucking love it. Why are people disliking? You clicked on the video knowing a rat was going to be fried. What did you expect? This is what the internet was invented for. 321 rats disliked this. I laughed so freaking hard at this. Now this is satisfying. I kind of feel bad for the rats, but at the end of the day, they are pests. Yeah, that's right, they are pests. And I'm sure that that's the only reason why people are taking so much pleasure in their torture, right? 
Listen, I hope I'm not drilling this point in too hard, and it's quite possible that I'm completely wrong. But there are tons of these rat trap videos, and the more that I watch through them, and I've watched through hours, the more it's starting to look like these are all staged. That while these videos can get away with presenting themselves as just people from foreign farming villages showing the elaborate lengths that they have to go through to control a rat infestation, I believe that these videos are instead, one, not wild rats at all, in the sense that these rats didn't just willingly roam into these traps at their own free will. Two, the traps that you see videotaped are actually enclosed areas, most likely with some sort of entrapping walls or fence to keep the rats from leaving. And three, that these rats were all previously captured and are being forced into these traps against their will to be electrocuted and in some instances, drowned. I truly believe that there is nothing natural or unstaged about any of the videos I'll be showing you, but that they are all orchestrated for the enjoyment of sadists, psychopaths, and any other filth who gets off on watching animals get tortured. All right, obviously I don't think that all rat trap videos are staged, just the particular ones that I'm talking about. Just to clarify before people start getting on my ass saying, Ooh, Rusty, you don't think that rats can really be a problem? Yeah, I know they can. I'm just talking about certain ones of these videos. You'll see, you'll see. All right, so here we have a video called Homemade Electric Rat Trap. Mouse Trap Electric Shock. Oh, all right, well, let's get into it. Right, so it's just a, uh, a nice, fun little DIY project. Make your own electric rat trap straight from your house. All right, so now he's spreading the rice around. And of course, instantly there's three rats ready to just jump right into this electric trap and eat this, eat this rice. So I guess the idea here is that they put the, the rice up there to entice the, the rats to you know, go into the cage. And then they'll get shocked by these little electric panels and that'll make them freak out and fall into one of these four buckets of water where I assume they drowned. That's just a quick, effective way to, to get rid of wild rats. Do what you gotta do in these villages. Okay, so at this point, they had to do a cut where they put the, the battery in there. Now, it doesn't really seem like it's necessary to include that, except for the sake of the viewer who wants to know just how gruesome this whole thing is. All right, so we're skipping ahead to about five minutes, and you can already see that there is a significant, significant amount of rats that have come up this ramp and then fallen into the jugs. They, they must have a really significant rat problem. And these rats, they sure do love going straight up this ramp. What, look, okay, so look at this one. Look what's happening here. This rat, try, it, it's trying to turn back around. You see it running up the ramp, trying to turn back around. And for some reason, it doesn't look like it has any option but to go onto that electric panel. It stops and it hesitates as though something is blocking its path. Why can't it just continue... To, to run out of the ramp. Why can't it run off the ramp? It doesn't seem like it has the, the possibility to do that. So I guess it just accepts its fate and jumps right in the water. I mean, what else would you do? Ah, okay, all right. I want you to watch this closely. Look at this rat that runs up this ramp. You might notice something about it that seems different from some of the other rats that have already gone up the ramp and fell in the water. You see how that rat is already soaking wet? Is it possible that that random wild rat was already wet or that it crawled through this thing it, it got electrocuted fell into one of these jugs of water and what did it climb out and then somehow escape this cage somehow go right past the electric panels get out of the cage and then decided that it's just going to go right back up this ramp get electrocuted again and fall back into the jug or did the person filming it take the rat out and is constantly putting the same rats recycling them through this horrific process I don't know. Seems suspect. All right, so these next videos are by the channel Mousetrap Electric. And as you can see, they have a ton, a ton of videos, all based around water mouse traps, electric rat traps. And these are all from the same period of time, looks like uh, seven months ago. So they're making these daily. They have to be making a ton of these every single day. So Rat Trap Electric joined YouTube in March 28th of 2019. So just in that short period of time, they were able to accumulate 21.7 million views. I don't know if these videos have ads on them or not, 
but if they do, they're making good money from this. All right, so this video by Mousetrap Electric, again, we're gonna look at, has 2.9 million views. It's called Top 10 Electric Rat Traps, Best Idea Homemade Electric Mouse Trap 2019. This is definitely a set. And then of course, colorful flotation devices because you gotta have that in your thumbnail so you can really catch the viewer's eye. And if you think about it, what is the point of this mouse trap? If they're making this trap so that the, the rats or the mice actually drowned, then why even have the flotation devices there at all? Of course, it's so that they can scramble up onto them and then make a big show. So are they trying to entertain people by showing them weird ways that they're, that they're drowning rats? Or are they actually trying to make an effective trap? It's very clear what they're actually doing. Also, notice again, the entrance of the tunnel is cut off camera. That's not just good framing. I believe that's intentional. If, you, if they showed what was at the entrance of this tunnel, you might see something that would, I don't know, like a one-way opening door that they can only go in but they can't leave from. That's what my guess would be. All right, if you look here, look at this mouse. This mouse over here entering the tunnel tried to turn around and could not. It clearly understands that going through the exit of the tunnel is not something that it wants to do. So it turns around and weird, it's just blocked somehow. Right, let's skip ahead a little bit. Again, tunnel entrance is cut off camera. The, the rats have to go up the tunnel, have to hit the electric panels, and then fall into one of these two vats of water that for some reason just have colorful plastic balls in them. And why even would the ramp be encased? If the rats can go anywhere and they have food leading up to it to entice the rats to already walk up the ramp, why have that encasing in there? Is it because they're not actually walking up that ramp at their own will? Again, they're being forced up to it. Got a dead rat in the water. This rat doesn't even want to go anywhere fucking near that. But you know they don't have a choice. You know what this is. They're being forced up this entrance that's conveniently cut right off. Why don't these three rats just go out through the exit and leave? It looks like they want to but something is stopping them. Hmm, they keep turning around apprehensively. Oh, and here we got another wet rat that I, for some reason probably escaped the first time and then decided that it's just gonna go right back around and up the tunnel so it can be electrocuted again. It didn't even try, it just jumped right in the water. You know that these mice have no way of not entering these tunnels, but fuck it, right? Because they're pests, so who gives a fuck? So another plexiglass tunnel that mice are clearly being fed through. Do you think all these mice, these wild mice are just, they're just clamoring to get through this plexiglass tunnel and jump on these electric pads. They're, they're horrified. They're blocking, they're making a huge horde, you know, rat by rat, probably can't leave. So it's just creating a big pile, a roadblock of rats trying not to go up this and go onto these electric panels. And doesn't it just kind of look like they're all just being pushed. Almost like that, uh, that Disney documentary. They made the myth that lemmings just run off of cliffs. They all just follow each other off cliffs. But in reality, what they were doing is they had a bunch of lemmings and they just pushed them off the cliff. All right, you hear that noise? Listen to this noise, listen closely. What that sounds like to me is a plastic bag full of rats, and the guy's digging through it to get more. He's got a bag of rats. Homemade electric mousetrap. Humane electric mousetrap. 12 volt battery. Trap and grill. Because nothing says humane like 12 volt battery trap and grill. Ah yes, humane. Do not use music, natural sounds only. Is it normal that I like to see how rats die? No. Epic chill. Good job, bro. All right, now we're moving on to another channel called Mouse Channel. Electric mouse trap, 20 volt, best rat trap electric. Same thing, ramp leading up, small little ramp leading up to what looks like a Faraday cage with a bug zapper on the bottom. If you listen closely, you can hear the person laughing after this horrific scene. Hear that? 
This person's having a fucking time of their life. They're enjoying this. This is not a great video. Literally have to wait at the end of the video to watch the rats get electrocuted. Make sure they can't escape and put a bouncer on the door. That way they can keep on dancing and singing. I guess that's what you would call a horrific rat squeal. Throwing rats into an electric cage. There you go. This person sees Zane has figured it out. Someone is throwing rats into an electric cage because they do just appear. They, they fed the rat in there. They put it directly into this thing. Of course, you had to cut that out. You always have to cut out where humans are actually forcing the rats to do it because if you, if you actually showed a person putting one of these rats into the cages or forcing them down the tunnels that lead up to these electric traps, then the video would instantly get flagged as animal abuse because that's what it is. This is animal abuse. So they have to cut that part out. They have to make it look like, at least give a reasonable doubt that, that these rats are wild rats who on their own accord, at their own will, just happen to be falling into these traps. But they aren't traps, they're not trapping them. If they're, if they're not, it's not a trap if, someone, if a rat gets forced into it, if they're put there. That's not a trap, it's just a torture device. Boring, waited too long, need more rats. What a joke, this should be called Rat Disco because all it does is make them dance. John Ravolta. All right, I guess that's kind of funny. So many dislikes, I know why. We all know what we like to see but didn't. Now what is that? What is that? What did you want to see but you didn't in this? Was it, was it a rat frying? Did you actually want to see a big pile of dead rat corpses? What, what did you come to this video for? You're a fucking sicko. You're a psychopath. <sighs> God damn, how many more of these do I have to go through? Okay, here's a video by NTD Vlog. Once again, notice that the entrance of the tunnel is conveniently off camera. I don't want to be a stickler here, but just from an editing perspective, uh, this person used the same rat scream and just dubbed it over every time the rat touched the electric panel. It gets a little annoying. Same rat screech. Same rat screech. Dude, if you're going to be a fucking sadistic weirdo, you can at least not be so lazy about it. Look, this rat goes in, it tries to turn around, it cannot exit because there is no exit. There's no escaping hell. All right, so this final video is by a channel called Mouse Arrest. And it's called Electric Mouse Trap 2020 featuring crabs. If you look, you can see that this is drywall. Drywall in the background. There's a drywall wall on the side. Bricks holding it all into place. Just showing, just proving that this is all one big box. God damn, that's fucking, that is horrific. So it's just feeding rats to crabs. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe. I mean, if you kind of look at it, the, these crabs look disturbed. Nope, no, never mind. They're clinging right on. They must be hungry crabs. They're reaching straight for those rats. If you're trying to get rid of a rat infestation, might as well build an elaborate box where they get electrocuted and then fed to crabs. That makes sense. That's quick and effective. All right, so I was actually wondering, like, if these videos aren't monetized, why are they doing this? Like, how are they making money off this? And then I saw this. Check out the links in the description below for our top and most recommended mousetrap, rat traps, indoor and outdoor to help you manage your pest-related problems. So I guess they're, they're making these videos, hoping to get views so that they can sell I don't know, I guess get like some commission off selling rat traps. Now, if it wasn't obvious, it's not like these, the, someone just sets these cameras up. There's a person standing right here behind the camera. The camera's gonna get jostled, it's gonna kind of refocus. Someone's moving something around in the background. There's a director here. There's a director for this, this torment. And it's under the guise of this just being a reality of life. This is just what people have to do to control their rat problems. You know, if only you could see the other side, if only you showed a, a wide shot of this setup and people could actually see what was going on, it'd be so much more obvious that this isn't just people controlling a pest problem. Pretty twisted, you may need help. You're fucking right. I gotta be honest, as much as I love seeing rat traps and hearing rats scream, 
This was unnecessary. Maybe you should just fill it up with more water. Wow, this trap was over the top for people who, who love the sound of suffering rats. This one went too far. Store-bought rats for likes? Yeah, they're calling you out, buddy. For all of you saying that rats carry diseases, these are pet mice. All right, people are finally starting to figure it out. Again, like I said, I have a lot more videos. I have the best top 10 electric rat trap deaths. Top 10 idea mouse traps, best electric mouse trap traps. Like shit by channels called DIY Mouse Funny. I think people actually do find this funny. They see like something spasming out and, and freaking out and it, it makes them laugh, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just on my high horse here. You know, like whatever, I, I'm not the, the best role model in the world, but this is definitely around where I would draw my line. Honestly, I don't know what my objective was for making this video. I mean, to me, this all looks like they're going out of their way to inflict unnecessary trauma and suffering on these rats. And if it's true that these are all orchestrated for the sake of making a video and getting views, then I am 100% against it. And I'm not trying to call on YouTube to add more regulations by any means. That's not my job or business. I just thought that this was a disturbing trend that needed to be brought to light. And well, if you think that more people should know about this, then I encourage you to give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and be sure to share it on social media to help its reach. I don't doubt for a second that YouTube is gonna try to throttle the hell out of this video. Because believe it or not, rat torture doesn't do so well for the algorithm. Thank you for watching. Requiem of the Crazies is no longer sold out. Buy them below. Check out my new t-shirt design. Wear it to a protest. And be sure to listen to my new podcast with Simeon Jimmy and React.